show me I'm wrong, please. I love close games. I love competition. I was, you know, really hoping. I don't know a ton about football. I'm not like you guys. You guys live in Texas. You know football. I sign on to that the whole right. bit. So please, show me I'm wrong. Give me a reason to hope that the Texans Now can that Arian Foster has put an excerpt from your column on his, uh, on his profile, yeah, are you yeah. over the top? I mean, yeah, you got me there. I, you know, I, I can't go back and look at all the 11 on one up. You got me there. <laughs> Unfair. Unfair hyperbole from the Boston guy. Yeah, well, you're just going down too easy. No, I just, I, again, I, I'm not going to argue football with someone who knows a lot more about it than I do. I just, and I, I, I hope you're right. Yeah, really? Just play back, cover two, coverage, whatever. you got to just rattle him, go after him, and they didn't do it. I don't know where that was. You know it. You know, ten times more about football than I do. I'm not pretending to be a football guy here. I just, I didn't like what I saw. Statements. All right, that, that's fair enough. I'm going to I'm going to agree with you on that, because you know more about football than I do. I am not pretending otherwise. So, if he really was, it was City going there for the Super Bowl in 05, you know, love the stadium. It's great there, and uh, you guys have great football fans. I hope your team can represent right, thanks, here. Uh, please. Put me on the air. So, where are you calling from? Uh, I actually live in Framingham, Massachusetts. Okay. Where's that? Uh, it's probably about 20 minutes away from Boston, probably okay. half an hour away from the stadium. So did you hear Shaughnessy on with us? I did, unfortunately. What do you think of what he wrote? Uh, I mean, I don't necessarily agree with it. Um, Shaughnessy's been kind of a pain in the ass for years uh, around these parts. He's, that was more what he does as a ploy for attention for himself, to be honest with you. I'm just more disappointed he didn't stick up and own up to his words, to be honest with you. He did kind of back down. You know what? And that's what I thought, because I heard a little bit of the Boston accent in his voice, and I'm like, okay, this guy's <laughs> going to give it to us, and we're going to have a good old discussion here, because I thought it was going to be a tough Massachusetts guy. Every inflammatory thing he wrote, I mean, I throw out, wet their pants, and he's like, yeah, you got me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, for years, he makes it about himself, but for me,